Jamison. I'm Jamison. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How did you get here today? Was it okay? Traffic was fine? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, okay. How was parking? <laughs> yeah, I had to walk because <laughs> five minutes, but... Yeah, it's okay. Um, so I'm just going to let you know before we start our session, we do have this rule about confidentiality. So if you mention anything to me about potentially harming yourself or others, I do have to disclose your information to someone else. Um, just for safety reasons. Are yeah. you okay with that to proceed? That is fine. Okay, awesome. So what brings you here today? Well, um, my wife, Alia, mm -hmm. she, for the past six months, um, she's been very withdrawn and mm -hmm. very quiet, not engaging with anyone, and I'm very concerned about her. Okay, so I can see the concern that you're expressing for your wife. How long has this been going on? Six months, did you say? Yeah, six months. Okay, um, so can you just explain what you mean by withdrawn a little bit further? So she's kind of, you know, she won't get out of bed in the morning, mm -hmm. um, and we have kids that she won't even engage with anymore, and I'm just, yeah, she used to do sewing and cooking, which she learnt at a women's group, um, but... She won't even pick up a sewing needle anymore. She's just very, I'm just very concerned and worried about her at the moment. So was this very sudden? Did it just kind of come on all at once yeah. or was it progressive? Do you she, think? you know, she, like, we did have a rocky past, like, mm -hmm. um, just with life, but like, she was pretty good, social and everything. And yeah, but then, yeah, the past six months, she's just gotten a bit. So could you explain to me a little bit further what you mean by rocky past? Um, yeah. yeah. Um, so in 2004, um, my wife, my three children and I, we all came here from Iraq mm -hmm. and we were at a detention centre for four years. Oh wow. Yeah, and um, so that was a very big struggle because um, it was such a big change for all of us. It's, yeah, especially my wife and my kids. And um, the conditions at the detention centre were just, you know, shocking and, you know, and we had to leave so much family and friends behind mm -hmm. and our way of life and it was just very, yeah, it was a big change. Yeah. So I see you're very distressed, um, concerned for your wife, um, but how are you, how are you coping with this? Um, you know, I just have to remind myself that I could be dead if I was still in Iraq, at the, you know? Mm -hmm. stay, you know, and so I'm very, you know, like, I do miss home, but I do know that, you know, I'm happy that I have the opportunity to be here, but yeah, but I, I am very, my wife and my kids, because my kids aren't getting as much um, attention from my wife, and I, you know. Yeah. I really see your concern, and it's a very positive thing that you've come here to talk to me today. Um, Unfortunately, we're running out of time, but if you would like and you feel comfortable enough, would you like to come back this time next week for another session? Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you for coming to speak to me today. It was very brave and very, um, I like how you can recognize your positives about coming here to Australia and yeah, I would love to talk to you again next week. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Thank you.